video, um, just a haul video, and it's kind of chilly in my house, so I'm wearing this Calvin Klein, um, just like hoodie jacket thing that's like so comfortable. I love this. My parents actually got this for me for Christmas, like, I don't know, a year ago probably, um, and I freaking love it. So anyways, if my skin looks terrible, sorry, um, I'm trying out, I'm trying to like figure out my skin. My skin has changed a lot lately, so that's what's up with that. But let's go ahead and get into the haul. Um, and let's see where this haul takes us today. First things first, I picked up this calendar and my plans for this is to put this on the fridge and um, just chill, have a chill there and I, I can fill in the days. Sorry, my, did I ever show you this? My phone is shattered. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's shattered. Anyway, um, so my plans for this is to put this up on my fridge and fill in the days when it's necessary. Um, April's almost over, <clears throat> so it's kind of pointless that April's almost over, but maybe I'll be able to put like two months in one, that kind of thing. But it is dry erase, so that's great. It does come with two things. It comes with the calendar, and it comes with like this Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday thing. Which might be useful, but I'm not sure if I'll even use it. So I picked that up, which goes with some of the other items that I got as well. So I'll show you those. I got these magnets just because it's not magnetic and I needed something to hang it up with. So I just got those. And then this I was really excited about. Um, they're it's so cute. They're magnet labels is what they say they're called. And it says do the laundry, clean the bathroom, do the dishes, take out the trash, mow the lawn, feed the pets, and clean your room. All of these things pertain to me except for mowing the lawn. So, yeah. I thought they were really cute. They have like pink sparkles on them. So cute. So I can put those on the days where I want to do those kinds of chores, if you will. Or more like responsibilities now that I live in my own house. And then, I am literally obsessed with like stationary. These are like the magnetic notepads that you can find them at Walmart. I don't care. They're always like really cheap. So I got a few. So this one says who to do and it's got, this is like my kind of functionality kind of list. So basically there's lines and stuff and it says yep and nope on these little boxes. And I like that a lot because you can basically just you know, write down what you want to get done for at least the day, and then if you didn't get things done, just put nope, 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 and what you did get done, say yep, rip this one off, set it to the side, make your new list for the next day, and then whatever you didn't get done, try and get it done the next day, and just like keep, things just keep rolling over. This is my kind of functionality, because when I write a list down, I am not going to get everything done. I used to want that. I used to want to get everything done on my list, but it just it just doesn't happen now, so I'm even going to shoot for it no more. So then, this one I thought was really cute. This one was my favorite, actually. It looks like a little gumball machine, and it's, um, it says buy now and buy later. Um, I'm just going to use this as a grocery list, um, or maybe just in my beauty room, things I want to try out, or things I need to buy now, or when I know I'm going to run out of something. I don't know. So, yeah. I thought that it was cute, or I might just disregard the buy now, buy later, and just change it into a whole grocery list. I don't know. And then this one is another to-do list, and I love the functionality of this one because you can prioritize what needs to be done. So, like, this could be for, like, anything, bills or anything. Basically, on the side, it says yes, no, and maybe. And, you know, if you wrote down, like, take out the trash, yes, prioritize it. And then, like, if you wrote down something like... Oh, I don't know, just hang a picture. Like, it doesn't have to be done. It's not going to, like, ruin your life if you don't get it done. Um, it could be, like, a maybe. And then whatever you didn't get done at the end of the day, just put no, and then that way you know what you need still to get done. So I like the functionality of this one as well. And then I got this one. It says Blessed Beyond Measure on it, and I love the typography and the design on the sides as well. Honestly though, I probably won't use this one as much because it is just blank and there aren't any lines. I prefer lines, but I'll make use out of it. It was just a dollar, so I'm not going to be upset if I don't end up using like using it a lot, but yeah. So I bought those, and then for beauty, which is why I originally went there because I was inspired by Jessica Braun, um, she just did a Dollar Tree haul and I wanted to go and see if they have those items at my Dollar Tree. They had most of them except like a couple things that she hauled. 
I'll link her video and channel down below so you guys can check her out and subscribe. Tell her that I sent you. Um, because she's so awesome and so positive and yeah. So, <clears throat> in the beauty section, I would have never thought in a million years that they would ever have good products at the Dollar Tree. Honest to God, I always thought that they would just have crappy stuff, but they actually sell pretty decent things. And they sell like name brand stuff too. Like that you could find from your local dollar or from your local drugstore. So the first things I saw, I actually don't know what I saw first, but these are the first things that I'm gonna show you. And they are the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Brush in your shadow. Um, and they came in these little bags. And this one is probably like a dollar regularly at like the drugstore, but they don't sell them in my Walgreens, and if they do, they're like always out. So that's what they look like, and then I bought a second one for myself, and they're just super soft, so I actually use with a product that I actually just picked up while I was there as well. And these are really flawless. I wish I picked like all of them up, but honestly I don't need that many, but they're just so good. It's like an addiction, another addiction that I have. So then I picked two of these up, which this one's pretty dirty now. I literally had it for two days, but this is what it looks like. And this is the Wet n Wild Creme Brulee, like, uh, color icon, like, single eyeshadow. And, um, these are normally 99 cents from, like, Walgreens as well. But again, mine are always sold out, and they always have the glitter ones, which I don't like very much. But it's just the shade that matches my skin tone perfectly, and it's honestly a dupe for the Urban Decay, um, and it's the dupe for this shade, which is actually all gone, if you guys can see that. So, it's a straight up dupe. So, that's pretty good. Really good deal. And then I picked this up. I don't know if you guys know or if you've been around this long, but I did a LA Colors Color Bomb versus Maybelline Baby Lips video, and I did lip swatches, and I kind of reviewed both of them. Uh, I did a whole video on it, so I'll just link it down below, but I did not have this in the video. Um, I'm pretty sure. If I did, oh well. But I'm pretty sure I don't have this shape. Um, so, yeah, I thought this was so cute because the packaging reminded me of a watermelon. And it's in the shade Zap. And these ones are, I just really like these ones as well. They're a really good alternative. And it's just a really pretty hot pink. Which can't go wrong with hot pink. And then I also picked up these nails, which I like these nails a lot from the Dollar Tree. These are the Saxy and Chic brand, which is like their old brand. Now, they don't come in a large like size variety. You only get 12 in this one. Uh, normally, you would at least get like 24 nails or something like from the one you would purchase by Kiss or something, but these ones only have 12. I do make it work, but yeah. But these are really cute. They look like little hibiscus flowers. They would find it white. So cute. And then the main reason I went actually was because of these eyeshadows and I got a whole bunch to do a whole review on a separate video and that kind of thing. So I'm just going to go through the names and just kind of show you what they look like opened and stuff. Um, now if you did like want to go in there and look for them, they are going to be in something like this. They're like hanging in something like this. Anyways, they just come in that like hanging package and mine were like hanging up at the store and then they're also like double sealed so it's like extra protection which is nice so anyways this is what they look like you can find these at the store right now if you go to your local drugstore Kroger's like I used to work at Kroger's like just at the beginning of this year and we still carry these in our store and I just was at CVS probably a couple weeks ago and they, we still carry them at our at their store as well they're like five dollars each but yeah so anyways, this is a um, shimmer one, and this is a charcoal. They all say Bella before the name, so I'm just going to go um, with the second name, which would be charcoal for this one. Super beautiful. And then I also got Fuchsia, which is this one, really pretty. And then I got Violet, really pretty as well. Now I did swatch these because I tried to film this haul several times now. And the lighting has always been funky. This one's navy. So, um, I do know they got really good consistency and they're really pigmented as well. This one is silver. So, I, I'm, so far I'm liking them. I've only used one though. So, I haven't done a full, like, trial or anything. And then, the only thing, I just have, like, a really bad time opening them. This is purple, so it's, like, darker than the violet. And then I have... And then the last one I have, which actually kind of broke, um, it's just like my fault, I broke it, um, but this is in Cobalt. And you see 
see here, I can like literally put my whole hand through here because this part fell off, the part that says Milani, like fell off of here when I like pressed it down on this part. Um, so it just must have been really loose or something. So that one's in cobalt. And those are all of the Milani eyeshadows that I picked up. That's all the color ranges that they had. So yeah, that's why I just got the colors I got. I didn't just like be like, oh, this one will be good for this. Like I just got them all so I could do a full review for you guys. Because, I mean, you can't beat it. They're like $5 at the drugstore, so you cannot beat that price. Last thing I picked up was a hot pink tumbler because if you guys don't know, my favorite color is hot pink. Pink, like any kind of freaking pink. Like, yes. So I just thought this was literally an impulse buy, but I also have an obsession with like cups and straws. So this was like together. And I always buy these when I see them at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or something because they're cute, but honestly you don't need another. So this one was a dollar, so I don't feel as bad as spending that much money on it because the other ones I spent like five dollars on, which still isn't that bad, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, this is my little tumbler, cute for the summer, whatever you want to do with it. Okay, you guys, so thanks so much for watching my haul. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, then comment down below and tell me that you want to see more or I guess just like it as well. Share it with all your friends so that they can save some money and get a good deal because Dollar Tree was slaying today because I am on a budget, girls, or guys, whoever is watching. I'm literally on this budget. I mean, because I have a shopping addiction that I feel like I should make a video about because it's actually a real problem. Anyway, with that being said, thumbs up, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you lots. Gotta go. See you later.